Hey, what's up guys? It's Flex and welcome back. If you watched my last video, I showed you how to change your boost pressure sensor, your map sensor, and how to clean your throttle body on your Mercedes C250 turbo four cylinder engine. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to replace the secondary map sensor and the air sensor, which are both located after the throttle body. So they're a little more difficult to get to. Not to keep you waiting, let's get to it. Since we'll be working on electrical components, the first thing I wanna do is disconnect the battery. Now we wanna remove the air box by removing the clamp, pulling off the tube, and taking off the three screws holding the air box down. Make sure you stuff your air intake tube so you don't get any dirt in there. Okay, next let's remove this tube by pulling it out of the way so we can remove the rest of the air box. Just pull it towards you and lift it up and it comes right off. Before we remove the air box, we need to slide off this hose. Just pull it to the right and it'll slide right off. Now that it's off, we could yank the air box right up. Just be very careful because your ECU is actually right there and you don't want to damage it at all. And there you have your secondary map sensor and to the right of it, right there is the air sensor. To remove it, pull the connector right off. And use a Torx bit to remove the two Torx screws holding it down. Once those are removed, you can pull the sensor right off. Reinstalling a brand new sensor is just reverse. Make sure it's a nice tight seal. Everything is screwed down really tight and the connector is on nice and tight. You don't want any leaks. Okay, for the air sensor, pull the connector right off, pinch the two plastic tabs, and pull up on the air sensor. It should slide right out. And to install the new one, it's just reverse. Just push it back in. Make sure it's nice and tight so you don't have any air leaks, and then reinstall the connector. And that's it. All set to go, reinstall everything, and you're good. Well, there you have it. I hope the video really helps you out, and hopefully it corrects any check engine lights you have, or a decrease in performance, or even hesitation in your idle. If you liked the video, hit like below. As always, make sure you subscribe, and I will see you next time.